Welcome back to another Brave Police J. Decker episode review. Today, we're taking a look at the episode, Our Boss is a Fourth Grader. In this episode, Power Joe takes the spotlight as he follows his boss Yuta to school. This episode begins in the lair of Monsieur Monde, who is surrounded by his toy collection. Monsieur Monde translates to Mr. World, although this guy doesn't look anything like Pitbull. Apparently, Monsieur Mon creates robot assassins. Hmm, this guy definitely sounds like he'd be more at home in Transformers Animated. Maybe even as a shattered glass version of Professor Sumdak. I will say though, I was kind of hoping to spot a Transformers reference in his toy collection. You know, considering that the Brave series has its roots in Transformers. And because this guy is obviously a fan of robots himself. But no, the only toy that I recognize is this Gigan looking one here. Anyways, it seems that he's been hired to assassinate Yuta. Wow, this guy doesn't have any reservations on child murder? Sometime later, Yuta is going to be late for school. He's tempted to ask Deckard to drive him, but he knows that's against the rules. Although, his sisters have no compunction about using Deckard for non emergency matters. It is pretty cute how Azuki calls him Mr. Police Car. Aww. I don't know why, but it just sounds really cute. If a bit functionist. Too bad you can't really do that with me. You know, because I have more than one alt mode. Meanwhile, Power Joe has snuck out and is taking in the sights when he stumbles across Yuta. And it's really cute how he tries to pretend that he's not him. Ah, if only power shovels could blush. Monsieur Mon tries to attack Yuta with his spider robot, but Power Joe happens to scoop him up just in time. At school, we meet Yuta's friends and classmates, Masaki, Kikumaru, and Emily. Really? Just Emily? Okay. Well, I already love Emily. She's just adorable in her pink, white, and red ensemble. Aww, she's so cute! Speaking of cute, one dude then tries to assassinate Yuta with his adorable little driller. But Yuta accidentally steps on it and destroys it. Oh no! Yuta then gets scolded by his teacher, who tells him that he has to tell his giant robot to leave. Which he does. Uh, Aww, it's so cute! Later, Yuta is caught talking in social studies class, and he is called to answer a question he doesn't know. Ouch! It's kind of mean to tell a kid he sucks. But Power Joe is kind of right. Yuta should be studying more. Power Joe also gets Emily into trouble for drawing in class. Oh no! It's so cute! Emily is a really good drawer though. Power Joe then acts really rude and misogynistic towards Yuta's teacher before Yuta finally yells at him to buzz off. Mon then calls a fake fire drill. And when Yuta goes to get his shoes, he's greeted by an adorable little orange robot. Aww, I love him. He's so cute. But this adorable little basketball bot bot lures Yuta into a trap. Yuta. <laughs> Where Mond unleashes his most deadly robot, Screwdriver. Is that Freddy Krueger in bit up in there or something? Oh no, man. Freddy Krueger have four blades, man. That's only three. That's Wolverine. <laughs> right? That's Wolverine. That's very funny. Fortunately, Power Joe and Deckard arrive just in time to save Yuta from the evil robot assassin. A fellow checker, eh? 
as a last resort, Mond unleashes his giant robot, Black Russian? Ah, I get it. All his robots are named after drink cocktails. His spider robot was called Stinger, no relation to the Bumblebee clone. His little driller robot was called Cherry Blossom. The cute orange robot was called Mai Tai. His final assassin robot was Screwdriver. And now his giant robot is Black Russian. As the daughter of a former bar owner, I really should have put that together sooner. I mean, I knew Mai Tai and Screwdriver were drinks, but I really didn't put it together until he brought out Black Russian. So, as Yuta gets his fellow schoolmates to safety, Power Joe unleashes his Bruce Lee moves on Black Russian. But when he becomes trapped by the giant robot's cleavage, Yuta and Deckard summon J Loader and combine into J Decker. And J Decker actually uses Power Joe's parts forming to his advantage. As you can see, when Power Joe transforms, his legs are separate from the rest of his body. It's kind of cool that they actually use that to their advantage. I assume that this is part of the toy's transformation, but unfortunately, there's not a lot of pictures of Power Joe online. Or at least not that I could find, let alone a video of his transformation. So this episode ends with the brave police apprehending Monsieur Mond. And he warns Yuta that there are others after him. Really? There are more assassins going after this child? Why? And who sent them? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, this was an interesting episode. I liked the villain of this episode. Some of his robots were really cute. I especially love Mai Tai. He was adorable. Monsieur Mond reminds me of Dr. Wily in a way, sending out his evil robot masters. And again, I feel like this type of villain would be right at home in Transformers Animated. And I like that we got a little bit of character development for Power Joe. I suspect that we'll see McCrane and Dump Song get similar spotlight episodes shortly. But overall, a pretty good episode. Well, what about you? What did you think of this episode of Brave Police J Decker? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you back here in a couple weeks for the next episode of Brave Police J Decker. Go on, a man-made dinosaur. So I'll see you here next time for that.